Okay, I have been trying my hand for a while at decoding different digital signals on HF radio. Now, if you have a waterfall, then uh, you've seen all this. You're probably asking yourself, what is all this stuff? Well, these over here are amateur radio operators talking. Still, definitely, definitely like them, uh, them antennas and, there. Uh, um, all this over here is digital. And it can be decoded. There's different things going on over here. All through the bands, you'll see this. I don't know how good the bands are tonight. This is, again, uh, digital over here. Amateur radio operators talking over here, getting busy. It's uh, 8.10 at night, my time. And uh, let's try the 60 meter. No, not very much in there. 40. It's quiet tonight. Conditions aren't that great right now. But again, here's all this digital that can be decoded. Now, if you're getting bored in that, try your hand at this stuff. Let's try 30. 30 meters. This is uh, FT8 over here. That can be decoded. And uh, let's try 20 meters. Uh, not very much going on, but this is all digital that can be decoded. 17. Nothing really going on. The other day it was just booming in. Nothing going on here. So, what I want to show you is I use multi PSK okay you can use any program that you want there's lots of free ones out there that decode digital signals I ended up buying this one because I have all the decoders in one package and I don't have to have a half a dozen different um, software packages to do what I want because I do a lot I'm teaching myself. I do DMR, P25, GMDSS, ACARS, HFDL, let's see, Arrow, AIS, RIDI, uh, over here, Slow Scan TV, FAX, uh, CW decoding, what else? Uh, AL decoding, RIDI, PSK31. So instead of having a whole bunch of different programs, I just thought it's easier for me just to buy this program. And again, you don't have to buy it if you don't want to, okay? These are all free. If you want the professional modes, you have to buy the program, okay? Enough about that. So, as I said, there's other programs out there that are free. I've got a few places I want to show you that will help you answer a lot of the questions and help you to decode, okay? And the first one is one website that people tend to forget about. But let me tell you something, it's, it's a great help. If you ever want to learn something, be taught something, uh, ask questions, use Google. It works. I can't tell you how many times I've Googled something and instead of uh, going out and buying something, I fixed something at home. Uh, I've learned how to do something. Uh, it's great. Now this is what I mean. Let's say you're, you're, you want information on how to decode RIDI. Very simple. Type in RTTY decode and what I do Sorry about the caps on. I'm not yelling at anybody. But what I do is I put YouTube on the end because I want the YouTubes to come up. It's a lot easier learning things if you can watch these used YouTubes. And look at this. And you can go through all of them. But this will help you a great deal. It may not answer all your questions. But let me tell you something, it's been a great help to me. And I do this with every, everything. Let's go back here. I'll shut off my caps. Sorry, sorry for yelling at you. Let me try. SSTV 
decode YouTube. Okay. And here it is. Perfect. You go through these videos and believe me, you will learn how to decode SSTV. This is slow scan TV. And um, again, there's lots of free programs out there that do this. Okay, I use two here. I use uh, MMSSTV and YONIQ. And they're free and they do a great job out of the box. And before you know it, you're getting SSTVs. As I said, try to use Google. Try to remember to use Google because a lot of people forget that Google's even out there. But it's a great help. And again, uh, if you want to learn how to do HFDL decoding, just type it in. And believe it or not, all these videos are out there to help you. So that's one site. Now this is the other site I want to talk about that has helped me a great deal. Answered all my questions pretty well. And it's groups. This is one of the groups that I'm on. Now it's called Groups IO. Okay, you can do a search for that. These groups are fantastic. I'm on Multi PSK, Olivia, SDR Play. And you can set these groups up any way you want. It costs you nothing. Uh, you can post, subscribe, unsubscribe, talk to the owner. And what's great about this is, let me go to Multi PSK. And these are all posts. People asking questions. This is one I've been asking. And Multi PSK, the owner of the, um, the author of the program contacted me and helped me with this problem. Can't get any better than that, <laughs> you know. But there are a lot of people that are willing to help you out there. Multi PSK has over a thousand members. Olivia 677, SDR Play, because I have an SDR box, a receiver, over almost 2,000 people out there. And all you have to do is go into a group, and how do you do it? Go up here, click on Find, Find a Group, and type it in. Whatever you're interested in, there's probably a group out here. And with members, GS8. 12,000 members, my God. And what happens is, when you send a email or a post, whatever you want to call it, to a group, everybody on that group sees that. So you could have one person help you, or you could have a dozen people helping you and answering your questions. And these are all people who are interested in the same thing you are. I go to SDR Play, and boy, they've been a great help to me. I've got an RSPDX uh, receiver. I've never had a problem here. If you don't want to use your email, your regular email, sign up for um, a Google email. Uh, that's what I do. It doesn't matter. Um, I got Gmail. You have a mail message. Sorry about that. I have a Gmail account. It's free. I get my emails there or I get my emails uh, there. Whatever you want to do. There's lots of ways you can uh, set this up. But to get back to the groups, um, I highly recommend whatever you're doing, join these groups because there's people out there that can answer your questions and more than happy to help you. And there's no flaming on here. There's no yelling and screaming, no swearing, because people will be cut off immediately. They're very professional, and you stick to the subject. And again, Olivia, I was having a couple little problems. People were so nice to help me. So this is another site I highly recommend uh, for you to learn things about HF radio or, or whatever subject. There's a group out there of people 
who are talking about it and, and wanting to help you. Those are just two. As I said, there's a lot of stuff going on out here that you can decode. And uh, things are kicking up on uh, 20 meter here a little bit. And uh, let's see, 30 meter, go to 40. 40 is in and out all night. But what you'll notice is, I'll go back to uh, 20. There's a few people in here talking, amateur radio operators. Sometimes there's very little out here. But you look over here and you see where they are. <laughs> They're on digital. And this is very busy. So I thought I'd share this with you. And hopefully it'll help you. You know, it's difficult sometimes because I'm alone. I like learning new things. But sometimes you start pulling your hair out and you need a little help. And these groups and... Uh, have helped me a great deal. I'll be signing up to some more of them. Uh, there's lots of other uh, things I, I want to learn. And uh, as I said, uh, Google, I'll tell you, there's a lot of uh, YouTubes out there that can help you. As I said, if you're like me, I like watching YouTubes instead of reading a manual. And what's nice about it is a lot of times you have a whole pile of them you can watch. So, I hope this will help you. Anything I learn, I try to pass on to people because I know what it's like to struggle. I got into HF radio listening years ago. I've been into scanner listening, uh, scanner radios for over 50 years. And I'm a very nosy person. I know what these people are doing over here. They're talking to each other. But what are they doing over here? And believe me, you can find out if you want to take the time because there's a whole bunch of stuff out here that you can decode. So I'm sorry to go on so long, but it's very important. Um, hopefully this will help you. And again, thank you so much for watching my videos. Can't thank you enough. And I will keep them coming. Um, next week I'm going to be a little bit busy. I've got a new Dell computer coming. I'm going to have to set that up and switch everything over from my old computer I'm on now. Set up all my programs. Uh, learn how to run Windows 11. I'm at Windows 10 now. There's not that much of a difference. There's another learning curve, so I'm going to be a little bit preoccupied with setting up the computer and all my programs and blah, blah, blah. But I will be making more videos. One of the reasons why I've changed over to a, a faster computer is because of multitasking. Uh, I'm running three, four, five programs at a time and making videos and everything and uh, this old computer is really being pushed. So I'm looking forward to that next week and I'll get back on and uh, make some more videos for you. So take care and enjoy your HF radios or your scanners or whatever you have think that you're alone out there. There's a lot of places you can go for help. Groups, as I said, and Google. So you take care.